Hello guys, back again. This is one of the most interesting articles I came across. Uh, not because necessarily because they filed a trademark, but what they're going to do, or what it seems like they're going to do with this trademark. So, Bethesda Soft's parent company, uh, Zenmax Media, recently filed three separate uh, trademark applications with the United States Patent and Trademark Office for the term Nuka-Cola, which of course is uh, a is very familiar to anybody who's played the Fallout series because Nuka-Cola is in the game. And Nuka-Cola is not just a beverage, but it's a handy energy source of the game. So, uh, but, while it's totally unclear what Zenmax wants to do uh, in the event this trademark is granted to them, uh, it is interesting what they, the base of intent which they put in these trademarks. And there's, there's two kinds of trademarks they could have done based on intent of use and based on use in commerce. Those are two different kind of ways to do it. Uh, but despite the fact that Nuka-Cola does appear frequently in Fall 3 and Fall at New Vegas, uh, this suggests the idea of actually attempting to protect an existing product. Uh, you know, the, the Zemex has new plans for this name because uh, basically what it is is they're not playing like, for example, a Fall themed soft drinks. They're not playing that kind of thing. But two of the trademark applications uh, apply specifically to computer-related electronic uh, services. So, while the third one, the more interesting one, actually applies to brand clothing items. So clearly, maybe they're going to license it out for clothing of some kind, uh, which is not uncommon for video games. Uh, this just it does make kind of sense clothing. The other two may be that they're trying to protect it in the game. Or maybe they want to use that, maybe they're going to use that somehow in a game. Maybe they're going to, they might have one of the DLCs with Nuka-Cola in the, in the title or, or themed around it or who knows what they want to do with it. Uh, maybe it's a tie to upcoming sequels. But the clothing is interesting. Uh, well, the other two are, are basically computer game related. And we'll see if they get the trademark, first of all, because... Uh, uh, who knows if they were the first to use that term? Maybe, maybe they were. With so many, you know, with so many, you know, years of uh, books and so much media, of different kinds out there. It's basically going to be the patent office to decide were they the first to use it? Do they own the the trademark on this? And if nobody else has it or or does it, then or is it a common term? Which I don't believe it is. Like candy is, so. We'll see if they get the trademark, what they do with it. Clearly, they're they're using it for their game. Uh, clearly, the other the third one is for clothing. If they can get the trademark for it, so what do you think about the fact they are applying for a trademark for Nuka Cola? Do you hope they get it? I mean, this is not a case of like Candy Crush where they they were trying to the creators King were trying to you know trademark the word candy, which is such a common term. Now, Nuka is not a, a common term. Nuka Cola. Cola, of course, could be, but not Nuka-Cola together. So, what do you think about this? What do you think this trademark actually means, gaming-wise? Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.